Welcome back to day 25 of the B-Movie Drive-In Exploitation Challenge. I got in yet another two films out of this box set. And first up is Bloodlust, which is yet another uh, film that I saw last year. It's a crown film. Uh, 1961 film that's based on the most dangerous game story, Robert Connell story. There's been so many films based on uh, hunting humans, basically, is that, uh, and this is like a cheap ripoff of some of the mo more better known films, like the with the most famous one, I think, is the one with Fay Ray in the 1930s. Uh, but this is another one, and uh, it's it's you got four adults, young adults. They're on a tropical island, and they become prey for a, a guy that gets his kicks hunting humans. It was part of the second feature of a of a double bill with the Devil's Hand, directed by a guy named Ralph Brook, who did nothing after this apparently. Uh, this film's claim to fame, if it has any, would be that um, Robert Reed is the, one of the stars in the film. And, of course, he went on to be uh, Mike Brady of the Brady Bunch. He's in this thing. Very recognizable. Uh, the, the protagonist is a guy named Wilton Rat, Ratcliffe. Uh, and he was in a bunch of B-movies. Uh, the Benny Goodman story is one that comes to mind. Uh, Million Dollar Mermaid, just a bunch of stuff like that. It's it's not a badly acted film, and it's and the storyline is engaging enough. Uh, it, it's just it's just a kind of a one note type film, and the acting is as you would expect it from a, a, a B and C kind of acting team or, or TV kind of actors is it's just it's a one note kind of film none of the acting really stands out there's been at least 17 I didn't know this but there's been at least 17 variants of the most dangerous game made between 1932 and 20, 19, 2016 that's a lot of movies about the most dangerous game crazy stuff Actually, I think probably my favorite might be the uh, Ozploitation film, uh, Danger, The Deadly Prey, I think it's called. I love that. Yeah, that's, a, that's a fun one. The, yeah, the film was kind of panned by the critics, as you would expect, along with The Devil's Hand. It's, it, got kind of, it got kind of beat up pretty bad. Uh, that I think a lot of the critics, particularly like British film critics, were really pissed off because of, of the misuse of the Richard Connell story, which is a great story. Uh, but yeah, this is what it is. It's kind of a made. It's almost like a made-for-TV kind of thing. It did end up on Mystery Science Theater, which is not really much of a surprise. So yeah, it's it's not bad. I give it a five out of ten. It's not horrible. And then finally, speaking of horrible, I watched for, I've probably seen this film, I'm afraid to admit it, actually I'm not afraid to admit it, I've watched The Creeping Terror at least ten times in my, in my life. And of course, Creeping Terror, most of you that are watching this probably already know about it, it's the, it's the, it's the crawling carpet horror movie, probably labeled one of the worst films of all time, along with, say, Plan 9 from Outer Space or Robot Monster, that type of shit. I actually still consider the worst piece of film put on celluloid was Howling 7. Uh, and because it's, it's simply selling you a werewolf story. The Creeping Terror is one of those films that is so bad it's good. Along with Plan 9, uh, it's it's a lot of fun to watch. I mean, yes, it's zero production value. You've got a monster that looks like it was made from a basically a carpet and just 
odd scraps and odds and ends. I mean, they use pipe cleaners for the head of the things. Got pipe cleaners for like tentacles. It's ridiculous. It really is. Um, but it's got a it's got a lot of charm to it. Uh, the story behind this film is a, is really more interesting than the film itself. Uh, there's a recent Blu-ray release. I uh, want to say it's a um, Synapse or Scorpion release that has the film itself and a docudrama film on the notorious guy that put this thing together. Uh, his screen credit name directed and produced is Vic Savage. But his real name is A.J. Nelson. And A.J. Nelson was apparently a real piece of work. Um, he starred in this film and he put together, uh, essentially sold the concept of creating this monster movie to some local investors. And he didn't have a, he, he was a shyster. And he put this together, got the money, and then essentially had no clue how to make a movie. And ran, he, he, shot some of the footage and then just ran off with the money and so what happened was the guys that put up the money uh, ended up filling filling it up the blanks of this thing and, and putting it together and actually releasing it uh, otherwise we did this thing would have never seen the light of day because the only reason AJ Nelson was even coming up with this half-assed idea was he just was trying to rob people take their money and then run um, he shot the film and he didn't, I guess he didn't have the right audio. He shot it all silent. So that's why the film has a constant running monotone, uh, narration track over it because there was no sound. It was shot with no sound. It's just totally, total incompetence. Uh, I would have loved to have known what happened to AJ Nelson. Apparently he was a he was abusive to his wife and just a just a con artist and a crook. Fascinating story. Yeah, the film's called A Creep Behind the Camera. Uh, highly wreck. I've seen the film. It's it's very interesting. Creep Behind the Camera. Nineteen uh, actually it came out in twenty fourteen. Uh, but if you haven't if you haven't looked into the Creeping Terror and you don't know much about A. J. Nelson or Vic Savage, I highly encourage you to. Uh, to check it out. I don't know what happened to him. I'd love to know. Uh, of course, this film got picked up by Mystery Science Theater and has been the butt of jokes. Uh, you know, the, the carpet that drags along the ground. And it, it certainly earned every right to be made the brunt of jokes. But man, is it a fun film to watch. And I seem to always, every year, drag it out and watch it. I just, I just love it. Uh, there's just scene after scene is just so cringeworthy bad it's so much fun to watch the shag carpet rug dragged through the uh there's one scene where we've got this um dance hall group that's in and then the shag rug carpet monster comes in and 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 starts moving all these tables and chairs towards the group and the group is moving about as slow as they can move away from the monster hilarious stuff and it, and off to the left and off to the right of the camera you can see uh crewmen just continuing on with their work i guess they in the midst of the movie the, the shot i mean this is like the scene the actual scene of the movie you've got camera crew that are off to the left and the right of the film just doing their thing you know no problem hilarious hilarious stuff I could go on and on about the creeping terror highly recommended anyway that's I'm gonna stop right there that's uh, day 25 and uh, the always fun always interesting film and backdrop to the creeping terror always worth a watch thanks for watching <laughs>